homeschooler. And as you can see, I placed various holograms on the wall, including holograms here and on this wall, sketch AR. And with that, they can sketch murals on the wall. As we pan around and go into the laboratory, you can see here I have Lifelink HoloLens app. So students can uh, download any um, model they wish in science. Um, it's an excellent app. Here on this wall, I have wheel replacement trainer, which teaches them how to replace wheels on cars, holograms. Here we have this interesting man. And we'll just start him. Okay, there he is. And he looks pretty realistic. Look at that. As we look down the darkened hallway, we have hollow elements, which is for the periodic table. We have a guy over here. And let's see what happens. He starts dancing. Look at that. That's pretty cool. When we go inside the classroom, here you can see I've placed Lifelick HoloLens, uh, the science models on the board so they're accessible. And more holograms over there. Over here we have Microsoft Edge, Wedge, Wedge, uh, Edge uh, Browser. Here we have My Lab, which is really cool. If I press on My Lab, then in the laboratory, let's see what happens. We should get up the periodic table. I'll just start that again. And here it comes. Behind it, you have the uh, another periodic table. This is a much more, my, and here we go. So here in the classroom, we have a much more lively periodic table. If I press on hydrogen, there you see the model, hydrogen, lithium, right beneath, there's lithium. You see lithium is in the first group, so it has one electron in the outermost shell. Compare that to beryllium in the second group, and that has two electrons in the outer shell. Uh, potassium being in the first group, uh, and the third period has one electron in the outermost shell, and this is really cool. Now, if you see behind this modern version of the periodic table that the HoloLens has produced for the student, behind it we have this periodic table, and you be the judge which periodic table is more exciting. I bet you'd go with this one. And remember, I could project this onto the uh, wall with a projector uh, so that uh, students can see this. Of course, uh, it would be ideal if all the students had a hollow lens. That would be great. That's not possible. Uh, but uh, at least we have one, so that is really cool. Let's look at helium. That's a really cool. That's one of the noble elements. Let's see that. There's helium. Okay, it's a noble, noble gas. It has two electrons. It doesn't need any more electrons, so it's fully satisfied. This is a really cool app. I'm going to just bloom with my fingers, go out of it. Okay, over here in the lab, over here we have Insight Heart, and this is amazing. I love this app. We'll turn that on, and then students can look at a real human beating heart right here in the laboratory. This is super. Let's take a look at this. It takes a couple of seconds to load. I am not on the internet, so what's nice is this shows that here in the laboratory, um, I'm able to use the HoloLens without an internet connection. A normal heart rate voice commands by 60 to make bigger beats per minute in resting adults. Bradycardia is, per definition, below open heart and tachycardia above 100 beats. Look at per that, minute. that's amazing. Open heart, 